Good morning, YouTube family, Instagram family. This is Randy. Welcome to my channel, Christ on the Coast. I'm in beautiful Sunset Beach. Uh, today's title of our video is Debbie's iPhone fell off the roof of our car. That's a long title, but that was a uh, that happened last uh, about a week ago. And uh, I'm going to tell you a story about that. Hey, this is a, a channel that's dedicated to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I love to tell stories and then uh, share the gospel with you. Um, we are one week away from celebrating Easter, uh, the risen Lord, um, Jesus Christ's death and uh, resurrection. Um, and uh, it's a beautiful time of year. It's very windy down here uh, in uh, beautiful Sunset Beach as I'm going to exit the 2015 Honda Civic Studio. That's always for you, buddy, Andy Stewart. Uh, Andy's my pro that I work with. And uh, always give him a shout out on that. Hey, we're going to take a walk right now and tell you about the lost iPhone and the circumstances around it. Here we go. Good morning, everybody. All right. Well, last week, we always take uh, our dog Posey for rides down uh, to Seal Beach from our house. And we uh, most of the journey is along Coast Highway, just along the ocean got all the way uh, uh, down there where we were coming back home and we heard this really loud clunk uh, as we're on Coast Highway, this really loud clunk, like, like we had run over something on the street and uh, pulled over on the side, didn't see anything, went home. Um, and then Debbie's looking for her phone. And so she goes back to the car and she's, uh, you know, trying to hunt for it and and then uh, she can't find it anywhere. And then both of us, and I, and I went out and kind of looked with her, both of us uh, looked at each other and we said, oh my gosh, do you think that clunk was the phone falling off our car on Coast Highway? So we went back to try to retrack it. We have that uh, find iPhone uh, button where you can try to find it, but it didn't come up as it turns out because the battery is completely dead in Debbie's phone, so it didn't work. But we went back down to Coast Highway. I walked along Coast Highway where I thought it fell off and uh, couldn't find it in the street. Um, went to AT&T and lo and behold, thank goodness, we have insurance on that phone. And so Debbie got a brand new phone the next day. It was amazing. So, so and we don't always get insurance on our phones, but this time we did. And so... Lucky us, she got a brand new iPhone 13, because they don't make the 12s. And um, gosh, it's very windy out here. I've got my little uh, microphone uh, muffler on my phone this morning, so hopefully it moves through those clouds. So, uh, so we had the assurance of knowing that our phone was protected, and uh, it's not unlike... Um, this time of year as we celebrate Easter next week, that I have the assurance that Jesus Christ has paid the debt for me on the cross for the sin that I committed. And the sin that I committed was the fact that it's in my bloodstream because of the fall of Adam and Eve. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That's what the Bible says. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. You see, Jesus came down for one reason. He came off of his throne in heaven. God sent his only son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. When it says that we will not perish, that means we will not go to hell. The reason why we would go to hell is because God's wrath is upon humanity. Why? Because of the sinful nature of sin itself. God loves his creation. He loves us, that's why he created us. But Adam and Eve, they took the wide road. The wide road was that they disobeyed God because they didn't trust him. And God, when he, when he created them, did not force them to love him back. He gave them free will. And because they're taking the wide road, which many of us in this world today are on the wide road to destruction, we're being self-reliant. The narrow road is the road in which we rely on God and His 
desires for us. We know that He is our Creator. We know that He is our Savior. And the, the great thing about being a Christian is it's by grace that we're saved. It's not by works. I cannot do anything to earn my salvation. Jesus Christ has paid the debt for me in full on the cross, and then He rose from the dead, broke the chains of death, and if I repent, if we repent, which means we, we do a 180, it's a military term, term and we, we repent and trust in Him alone for our salvation, not our works, but in Him alone we will be saved. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, God in three persons, God in three persons. Blessed Trinity. Until next week, you guys. God bless you.